still ahead. We're looking at this ranking member of uh, the Foreign Affairs Committee of Parliament, Samuel Kujetua Blakwa, is calling on Parliament to crack the whip if need be on all three MPs who absented themselves from Parliament for more than 15, 16 days. According to him, absenteeism should not be glorified and MPs uh, who go against the rules should be dealt with. Samuel Kujetua Blakwa made the call while addressing students of the uh, Simon Dedong University uh, of Business and Development and Integrated Development Studies in WA. The ranking member of the Foreign Affairs Committee of Parliament, Samuel Okujoto Ablakwa, noted that there is leadership crisis in the world, which has just resulted in the many conflicts, chaos, and social tensions and upheavals in some countries. Narrowing it to Ghana, he described President Akufado's failure to relieve Minister for Gender and Social Protection, Sarah Josafo, from her position for a year as leadership paralysis. Though he welcomed her second, it was long overdue. Leadership paralysis, um, weak, weak, weak leadership, uh, it just tells you that, you know, it's as though this country is on autopilot and uh, we don't seem to have our priorities right. So the, the whole episode is one that has been really, you know, shambolic, really embarrassing. It's not one of the high points of the president's, you know, leadership examples that he has exhibited uh, over 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 the years and and I think that we need a new mindset you know about the kind of ministries that we should give priority to that are so important you know that will really impact uh, on our people turning to the issue of absenteeism in parliament the North Town legislature stated that absenteeism should not be glorified urging parliament to crack the whip in same measure for the thrill. High standards, and those high standards should apply fairly uh, across, the block, uh, across the board. It shouldn't be that, oh, because now there's a hung parliament, or now we need, you know, uh, somebody to be ready on call. Uh, we, we, we needed her for e levy, she wasn't there, so let's punish her. Or, you know, uh, the numbers are so thin now that, no. This principle should apply at all times, whether there is a comfortable majority, whether it's a hand parliament, whether the ruling uh, party is not having a majority in parliament, is probably in minority in parliament. You see, at all times, principles are one and indivisible and should be applied at all times. So I would not want a discriminatory implementation of the processes that have been initiated. On Ghana's return to the International Monetary Fund, IMF, he said it is a systematic failure who should not be tolerated. We have not built a strong economy, all formidable, all and all of us must admit across the political divide, we have to accept that. You see, when, when we allow matters to become, you know, the usual political football, and we reduce them to the petty, charlatanic politics that we engage in. We lose the big picture. I am saying the big picture here. Let us resolve that this 18th time will be the last time. Nobody's going to IMF is better than the other. It's all symptoms of failure. Let us resolve that we will even learn from the Cubans. Can you imagine that Cuba has been under blockade has been under sanctions for more than 50 years and yet cuba has shown such resilience can't we learn from countries like that so how is it that we the little shock oh uh, gold prices have gone down oh oil prices have gone up um, oh there is a pandemic and that's, look what this pandemic and russia ukraine war and all of that has showed us is that we have degrees of leadership and competence let's admit it reporting for joy news Rafik Salam. Wow.